Welcome to Mark Reed 757. And this is my weight loss journal. This is my journey. Um, however you want to call it. I, I love blog, journal, journey. Anyway, today I'm talking about setbacks. And, you know, what makes this a different time? You know, this journey a different time because I, like many of you, have failed time and time again. And those are what I would call setbacks. I failed many, many, many times. Well, as you may know, failure is a part of success. You know, most people that have never failed have never attempted anything. So, of course, if you don't attempt it, you're not going to fail. But is that really success? Not in my opinion. Maybe some other people have different opinions of it. I take a step back to reflect on all the past attempts that I have done and I figure I just haven't been completely organized. I wasn't completely honest with myself and maybe a, a little I cheated one meal and then that made it uh, the next meal, the next meal, the next meal. I wasn't completely prepared. Many, many, many things have set me back from my reflections. However, my reflections also help me determine what will work. Um, I always stay positive. You know, that's another thing to avoid the setback is always staying positive. You know, as long as you have that positive outlook, very few things are going to ever let you down. One of my favorite sayings um, has been, uh, expect the worst and hope for the best. You know, if you already are expecting the worst, then anything that does happen is going to be, you know, a lot better than what you expected. But if you expect things to come to you, you know, like, say you were told you were going to get a thousand dollars so you're expecting that thousand dollars and then something happens and you don't get that thousand dollars you're going to be really upset and probably down where me if somebody tells me hey i'm going to give you a thousand dollars on friday i'll say okay cool and i won't expect it at all because it's not in my hand but once i get it in my hand now i have it now it's like hey that's great now i can do something with it I found a good set of friends. This is helping me tremendously. You know, I have a good set of friends offline. I have a good set of friends online. I have a good set of friends in groups. I have a good set of friends in the YouTube community, which this has been fabulous. I mean, I, I could never, never have dreamt that doing these videos would help me in such a way. Granted, I'm, I'm still at the infancy of my journey even though it's creeping up on four weeks, which is creeping up on a full month of doing these videos, it's still in its infancy as far as I'm concerned. And I always used to focus on the past and say, hey, look, I, I didn't do it, so, you know, why why would it work this time? And when you focus on the past, or what, what I would also call dwelling in the past, then you don't focus on the present and now that I focus on the present it's uh and likewise you could also look too much into the future but when I focus on the present and only use that it allows me to say hey I can control what I'm gonna do today I woke up okay, I'm brushing my tea I, I got uh, all my gym bag ready I made my breakfast I'm going to the gym, I went to the gym, and you know, so forth and so forth. It's able to make a lot better choices. Where before, you know, I'm, I'm too much focused on the past and uh, too excited about the future that I end up doing nothing. And that, you know, I don't do anything. And that's just no good. However, as long as you control your present, the future will take care of itself. Uh, thanks for listening. Tomorrow's video is going to be exercise for me. Since I am a bigger person, I can't do all the exercise that I'd like to do, so I do modified, and it's going to be based on 
moving a little bit is better than not moving at all. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.